Hello and welcome to this tutorial of data science in R. In this tutorial I'll briefly go over how to develop multiple machine learning algorithms for the classification of the iris data set. So basically we're trying to classify the type of flower species from the iris data set. Now for this tutorial I suppose or presume that you do have uh, some knowledge or the main basic knowledge about R. So let's get started first thing you're going to need is to load the carrot library if you don't have that just make sure to install it install dot packages carrot so make sure you do have the carrot package installed before proceeding let's load the iris dataset so iris dataset we have to have 150 observations and five variables we do have the sepal length sepal width petal length petal width and the species so we're going to use the first four independent variables and try to predict the species of that flower. If we look at the levels of the species, we do have three different species of flowers, Setosa, Fersicolor, and Virginica. And we would like to predict and classify the species. Now in any training, uh, in any machine learning algorithm, you would like to divide your data into two parts, training and validation data set. If you do train your model on the whole data sets, if we train the model on the 150 observations that we do have, we can go into overfitting issues. The model can somehow memorize those 150 observations, which we do not want, of course. So we will uh, divide our data into a training and a validation uh, data frames. Carrot package provides us with a very useful function, create data partition and we define the column that we would like to predict which is uh, uh, the species column and we choose 80 percent of the data to go into the training data set now we define our training data frame so data frame and it will randomly pick 80 percent of the data frame to go into training and for the validation it's minus in training for the remaining 20%. And we do have now our new data frames, 120 observations for training and 30 observations for the validation data frames, which equal to 150, which is uh, the total number of observations that we do have. Now we're going to define two variables, control and the metric to be accuracy. We can go into those in detail in uh, future tutorials but for the control we're, uh, for the control part we're going to use the cross validation method 10 cross validation so basically we divide uh, the training data frame into 10 parts the model will uh, will take 9 of those to train the model and then test it on the 10th part and then choose the another another partition test it on the remaining 9 and we'll do this 10 times Accuracy, so we define the metric to be accuracy, which is basically uh, the ratio or the percentage of how many times the model got the prediction correctly. All right, so let's start with the first simple, uh, with the first simple linear algorithm. I'm going to set my seed to seven, so you can use that just to, if you would like to match my results. Of course, you can change uh, change the seed or not use one at all. So we set C to 7, and then let's train our first model. So fit LDA, it's linear discriminant analysis. So fit LDA. This is the training function in carrot package. So train, we would like to predict species using all other columns from the date DF data frame. And the method is going to be LDA, linear discriminant analysis. Our metric is accuracy, and the TR control, we, as we have defined it, is the cross-validation, 10 cross-validations. See, we do have our model now. Now let's define the predictions. So predictions is predict using our newly developed model, mo uh, fit LDA, and we're going to fit this model for our validation data set, which is the, uh, which is the 30 observations that we have defined in here. Now if we just uh, run the predictions, 
we can see the predictions of those uh, of those uh, 20 observations uh, 30 observations I'm sorry now a good way to test your model is to use the confusion matrix available as part of the carrot package so confusion matrix will uh, will compare uh, will compare the predictions to the actual results so confusion matrix of the predictions what did our model predict for this validation versus the actual the actual uh, observations of those species from the validation data set if we run that look at the following table okay so this model actually got actually had uh, 10 cytosis and our prediction was 10 so we got all the cytosis correctly uh, versicolor we had 8 uh, sorry we had 10 8 and 2 but the model predicted 8 only correctly for virginica we had 10 and the model had predicted 10 which is correct the accuracy of the model is uh, 0.933 and the kappa is 0.9 you can have uh, different parameters to look at as well sensitivity specificity now let's see okay so that's it for the LDA model we can quickly develop another cart model classification on regression trees same way we'll just rename instead of fit.lda we're going to rename it to fit.cart it's exactly the same code for this part exactly that we're going to use our part we can develop k and n which stands for k nearest neighbor Again, it's the same model. We're just going to change the method part. You can see how easy is it in R using carrot just to quickly have uh, and develop those multiple algorithms, multiple machine learning steps. Uh, let's do one more. So that's very easy. So let's use the SVM support vector machines. I'm going to use the radial SVM, SVM radial. We can also try SVM linear later on. Can do the same thing for random forests. You see, I'm just running multiple models since it's a it's a copy paste task right now. We're not tuning any other parameters, and it's just the basics for for a small data set. Okay, so we do not have to go and run the confusion matrix for all those models we did that for the LDA we can of course do it for all others but an easier way to compare uh, an easier way to compare those models is just to uh, put the results of all those models predictions in a list so we're going to save it in a, in a results list LDA uh, svit.lda cart svit.cart k nearest neighbor support vector machines and RF Let's have a look at a summary of the results. Alright, so we can see the accuracy of different models. So we have a 98% accuracy of the LDA, 94 for CART, 98k nearest neighbor, SVM. So all those models are doing pretty well for this data set. It's a very uh, simple and straightforward data set. Uh, a good way to to look at this also is if we plot all those results so we dot plot results we get this table here uh, this chart just let me maximize it so we can actually see that the LDA was the best best performing one uh, for our current uh, for our current problem of course we can improve this model further uh, doing more tuning for others things can change but it's a pretty straightforward data set uh, if we would like to know which uh, which parameters were the most important variables you know if we look at the data frame itself so we have four independent variables if we would like to know which one was the most important one to classify the species of those flowers we can run the importance so we define importance as variable important for uh, for the LDA model 
and then let's plot the importance and we get so petal width was the most important variable for prediction of virginica, setosa and versicolor species uh, petal length was the second most important parameter and looks like sepal width has nothing to do with virginica but a little bit of, uh, of a prediction power for setosa and versicolor so that summarizes it again this tutorial is, uh, is a very brief just to go over the carrot package how to develop multiple uh, classification algorithms uh, each one of those can be gone through in detail to go over uh, tuning and uh, things can drastically change of course uh, with different data sets more challenging uh, numbers thank you for watching thank you for the support and uh, goodbye